Hey guys, this is Trev. I was watching Blender Bro Ryu's video on array around any rotation in Blender with hard ops. And in the video, he uses rotation line snapping, copying rotation, and hard ops as a line view to match one object's angle to another object's rotation. The beautiful thing about Blender though is that there's always more than one way to do something, and I think I have an alternative method that's worth sharing. Um, what I like about this method is that you don't need to use hard ops align view to eyeball the final rotation. So this method gives you an exact alignment with precision. So here we have a randomly rotated object um, in the scene. And let's say we wanted to align this cube to, let's pick a face. Let's say this face over here. What you do is you select the face and in the top center, click here for the transform orientations menu if you click on the plus button it creates a new orientation that you can see over here and it's activated immediately now select the original object or the object you want aligned and if you go to object transform align to transformation orientation boom you're done all you need to do now is to move this object to here what we can do is um, just press G and hold control to snap and you don't need any fancy snap settings just a simple face snap you don't need to turn on rotation so click on the object um, press G and hold control and this object is now perfectly aligned um, let's say we wanted to change the to a different orientation what we can do is click on this face and let's turn on the gizmo to show what's going on here um, if we click here and create a new custom orientation, you see that the gizmo flips to show that it's changed. And now we select our object again, go to object, transform, align the transform orientation, press G, hold control to snap. And then there we have it. There we have it. For the rest of Rio's demonstration, I think what he does is he selects the center object and then he goes to shift S to move the 3D cursor to selected and then he selects the smaller object and uses the cube menu for hard ops go to mesh tools look for radio array if you control left click radio array it will radio array around the 3D cursor so let's do that and then there you have it one thing I want to mention is that when you use this method you'll see that every time you click on the plus to create a new custom orientation um, it starts building up this list and it can get kind of annoying especially if you've been working on a scene for a long time you might have a long list to clean up because the only way to clean up this list is to individually click on each custom orientation and press the X button because there's no mass delete or uh, delete all so I found a workaround go to edit preferences under key maps do a search for orientation orientation what you want to do is look for the orientation and give it a name let's call it custom and then also turn on um, overwrite previous and let's save the preference now what happens let's turn on the gizmo to show what's going on now what happens is that every time you create a new orientation it's going to name it custom and not just that but every orientation you create after it's also going to create a custom um, another entry called custom which will override the pre-existing one so let's demonstrate let's say we want this to capture this orientation we click on the menu and click on the plus and you'll see um, by looking at the gizmo that it did flip and change it but it didn't create a new entry it's still being called custom so this is a really great way to make sure that you don't have a long list of custom orientations you have to later clean up Anyways, let me know in the comments if you guys found this method helpful, and thank you for watching.